Hey guys, Andy here, and today I have some amazing news to share with y'all, so that's why we're doing it raw. Also, I have some stuff i got to take care of today, so I'm actually heading out here shortly, so that's why I can't really sit down to edit this thing. So we're doing it on the phone, and we're doing it raw, baby. So I have both good news and some eh, could be better news to share with you guys, and we'll start off with the good news, and that is, yeah boy, finally got himself a new job. So, thanks to uh, my good friend Zach, also known as Phoenix787, Zach Phoenix Online. Uh, he's the main organizer for the YouTube Hanami and a bunch of other uh, Tokyo get-togethers for creatives. So, speaking of which, the YouTube Hanami is going to be on April 1st. Be sure to hit him up for more details and things like that. And I'm sure he's going to be putting out some promotional videos as well. Coming up here quite shortly, because uh, Hanami's, what, like three weeks away or so? <laughs> time of this recording. So be sure to hit him up for more details on that, but uh, just know it's coming soon. So I've had some people ask me, well, Andy Sam, we want to meet, meet up with you and stuff. And I didn't really feel confident about holding my own meetups just yet. Uh, but I'm always at these little creator get togethers and stuff like that. So if you guys want to meet up with me, I'm there. So just, uh, just come around and, uh, and find me. Not a hard man to find. But uh, anyway, getting on to more of my new job. And with that, it's basically doing what I was doing before with uh, video editing, shooting, a little bit of SNS, social media work, stuff like that. Um, it's just kind of a, a combination of a bunch of little jobs rather than just one major job. And I'm working with Zach and his, his partners on things uh, for the different clients that they pull in. I help, help them with their social media, any sort of videos and social media presence and stuff they, they need help with. I'm there to help them out with all that. And the team, you know, working with them, it's just completely night and day from uh, my previous job. And it also helps that I'm not the only video guy on the team too. You know, the reason that, you know, I was able to come on board was I was kind of talking with Zach about some stuff and he's like, oh man, I'm just so busy with, with work and everything. And I was just like, well, why don't you have me come on board? You know, I'm looking for work, as it as it turns out. Uh, so just let me have you out a little bit. And, you know, through talking with them and with his partners and stuff like that, we managed to, you know, have a little powwow, and they decided to finally bring me on. So super stoked for that. Um, I just started uh, last week, time's recording. So I've been pretty busy, pretty busy these uh, past few days. And it feels good, you know. Like I said, team's great, just complete night and day difference. Um, they also said that I can work from home if I want to. So I only technically have to be in the office once a week so they can like check in on me and run, run by some stuff with me, things like that. I also have to go to uh, what the Japanese call Gemba, which is basically, you know, filming sessions, being on set, on scene for things like that. And uh, no problems there <laughs> as far as that goes. Um, but even though I only technically have to be in the office once a week and go to the Gemba, I just been in the office pretty much all of last week, just, you know, hanging out and doing some work and, you know, just kind of getting a beat on where things are within the office and, you know, just trying to get myself um, settled in that environment. And it's been great, you know, no complaints here. So now I guess we'll move on to the not so great news. And that is kind of the nature of, of my job. So it's not technically, you know, official employment. It's freelance. So because of that, they can't offer me a visa directly. But they do have experience with, uh, with getting visas for freelancers. And I'm not super knowledgeable about all the facets of that because there's a lot of legalese and technical terms that are involved with that. And I'm not very familiar with a lot of that stuff. So I can't really speak to it on this video, but they said that they know some people that can, can help me out with, with stuff like that. So trust their judgment and uh, we'll just kind of go from there, see if I can uh, secure a visa and continue my stay out here in Japan. So yeah, overall feeling really excited. Just a complete night and day difference from where I was just what? last month basically beginning of last month um just a complete complete change of uh 
a feeling of everything, you know, like before I, I quit my previous job, I was in a really, really low spot in my life because I, I've already been applying to a bunch of other jobs. I had a few interviews, but they never really went anywhere. And I was just wondering, like, is this it, you know? And thankfully, I was able to find another job and, you know, I was with my good friends and doing what I love. So, you know, all's well that ends well. And I'm hoping that once I get the visa situation sorted, then I can uh, get some other stuff sorted in the IRL as well. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> but yeah, one of the things I want to do once I get the visa sorted is obviously move. I've been talking about it for a while. And it's not that I have a problem with this place at all. I actually really love this place. But, you know, I feel like it's just kind of time for me to move on to uh, something else. So I'm looking at uh, some places down in a more southern Kanagawa, down in Shonan. And I'm also looking at some places that are a bit further away from the coast, namely in like Ofuna, Totsuka, that sort of area, because those areas are pretty well connected. So if I need to go to other parts of Kanagawa or up in Tokyo or whatever, it's it's easier for me to get there versus if I was much closer to the ocean. So I'm just kind of balancing some things out here and there. But it also helps that uh, my, uh, my current gig is very flexible with things. So, you know, if it, if it was hard for me to get to the office, I could go there a little less or whatever the case may be. So very thankful for that. And yeah, things are just uh, definitely coming up uh, handy Japandi, gotta say. Um, so I think that's gonna do it for this little raw vlogity vlog. And uh, yeah, hope to be uh, sharing some more good news with you guys very soon. And with that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now, as always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.